All right, guys, just having a look at the inside of the Mustang. Obviously, you got your window and mirror switches there. There's a nice addition of chrome on the black. Nice Mustang emblem there as well. And um, this is what the inside looks like. Once again, excuse that beeping. I'll try and get rid of that as soon as I can. The back seats look pretty cool. I don't know if I'll fit in them though. All right, let's uh, jump in and look. All right. <clears throat> Start that up. All right, you can see the little horse logo comes up there, which is really nice. Okay, so on here we've got nice big taco and speedo there, and you've got a uh, digital display in the middle there, and you can actually go through um, different settings for the car if you need to there, which looks really nice. All right, your track apps, accelerometer, acceleration timer, brake performance lap timer, should you want to use those. Uh, and there's other settings as well there for, uh, for each driver. <clears throat> so you got your lighting controls here, fog, fog lamps, uh, headlight controls there, and um, your up and down for your um, for the illumination for the dash. All right, so if you have a look at here, we've got a, an old school steering wheel. I like how Mustang uh, Ford have done that. Sorry, with the Mustang, and uh, it looks really, really nice. It's it's that old school feel. Obviously, you got your um, phone and audio controls, and you've also got cruise control as well there. Um, you've also got these paddle shifters as well, if you have it in sports mode. Okay, so we've got this touchscreen navigation system here, which works really, really well. Uh, Sync 2, I think it is. Uh, and then down below, we've got your air conditioning settings as well. You've even got heated uh, cooling seats, cooling and heating seats, which is really nice. So you've got a few little buttons here, like looks like you're in a race car sort of thing in a way. Got one that says mode. If you have a look on the dash, it actually comes through drive mode, sport, racetrack mode, and snow or wet mode. Uh, obviously, the normal mode's normal. Sports Plus is for a little bit of sport of sporty performance. performance. Uh, racetrack mode, it adjusts all settings and things in the car and uh, it goes very very well in race mode it's not really designed for the road though uh, you've also got here a little picture of a steering wheel again up on the dash you've got normal sport or comfort again similar feels to the steering wheel so it's not too bad you've got traction control off and you've got your hazard lights as well you've also got a cigarette lighter there underneath as well as the engine start stop button and here we have a really cool old school gear stick as well. And this is the uh, six speed automatic on this one. And you do have the handbrake on that side. I'm not a big fan of the handbrake being here um, because <clears throat> I think Ford could have done a better job personally. Um, but it look, it is what it is. The plastics here, can be feel a little cheap but the leather it feels quite nice as well which is really a nice addition you see there's a little placard there mustang placard obviously you got the glove box there. it's quite a small one there you have dual cup holders and you've got some space in here as well which uh you got a usb and another 12 volt outlet there and the back now there's bugger all room there I don't even know if I'll even fit in the back so I'm yeah I'm not gonna actually try so yes but uh, other than that guys it's uh, it's reasonably uh, comfortable in here but at the same time it does have that feel of um, being tight in here as well but if you have a look I've got a little bit of headroom there as well which is quite uh, nice anyway for me and I'm 185 centimeters or about six foot one so uh yeah and it it fits me fine which is really really good i'm not sure about the back seats though 
But yeah, but other than that guys, uh, we might just quickly have a look uh, in the boot and uh, show you that. Okay. So as you can see, there's not a lot of boot space there. Under here, you've got some tire bits and pieces there for the for the tires. You don't actually get a spare in this one, uh, which is a shame. But I think for light lighter weight. So yeah, guys. All right. Other than that, that's pretty much it for this one. So uh, let's check out what's under the bonnet. <laughs> 